Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Tuck Tuck Trinkets and Terrain. Uh, a few weeks ago, Mark over at Morgan's Creations reached out to me, uh, inviting me to join his Monster Mayhem uh, collab project. Just a bunch of creators making a monster, uh, just as a fun uh, community project sort of thing. Uh, it sounded like fun. I like to make monsters. Rather than make a mismatch random monster like I normally do, I thought I would make uh, a classic D&D monster, or at least one that I consider a classic, uh, in Otia, the sort of garbage collector of uh, dungeons. Um, super simple, really cheap, just balloon foil, bit of wire, and some hot glue. But with my new puppy losing her baby teeth, I thought it'd be fun to incorporate those into the mouth and give it some nice uh, oversized teeth rather than its normal sort of needle-like ones. So I'm gonna show you what I did and how I did it, and I hope you enjoy. So like I said, the base of this project is aluminum foil. Uh, it's cheap and easy to work with, so I try to use it whenever possible over something more expensive like clay or um, something similar. So I just used it to essentially make the shape of the body itself using some toothpicks where necessary to secure the bonds between the body and the head here. Now I intentionally left the teeth out as long as possible so that I could keep their original color rather than accidentally getting paint on them or something like that. Um, using some hot glue to reinforce all the little folds and areas where the aluminum foil is scrunched up weird. Uh, and for the legs, I used this copper wire that I've used before uh, just to give it a very strong, stable thing for the whole body to stand on. Um, I wasn't sure if just aluminum foil would be strong enough. So each of the legs and the three tentacles that we'll get to later have the copper wire in the middle here and then just surrounded those with aluminum foil, reinforcing and attaching with the hot glue. I used some tines off of some plastic forts to create some little toenails for the Otiog here. Um, and then just by pushing it down onto my cutting mat, I get a nice flat foot with the little nails embedded in them. And then just more wire and aluminum foil for the three tentacles. Uh, now two of the tentacles have like spiky bits and one has the creature's eyes, uh, but they're each in sort of these folded, uh, I'm not sure what to call them, like hoods almost. Uh, and to make those, I just folded up some aluminum foil and cut them into the general shape and then just hot glued that shape on around the top of each of the tentacles to form the little hood. And then again, just covering everything with the hot glue to give it a consistent texture as well as something for the paint to adhere to. So one of the tentacles has eyes, like I said, and I just used some wooden beads for those. And then for the little spiky bits on the other tentacles, I uh, just clipped up some toothpicks and hot glued those on to create the little spiked appendages. So with everything attached and glued on, it was time to paint. So after a nice base coat of a black primer, um, Otiugs are kind of plain looking in terms of their color. They're kind of just brownish. Um, so I tried to spice it up a little bit, but I honestly struggled with the paint job here. So base coat of a dark brown, a sort of an overbrush with a lighter brown. And then the bottom half, I overbrushed with a darker green. These creatures are found a lot of times in like sewers and other waste filled areas. So I thought that might give sort of a hint at that. It also adds some nice color that I would otherwise be lacking. The tentacles, I did sort of a tan dry brush on. Uh, again, just to add a little bit of interest. After a black wash to get in all of the recesses and shadows, um, I did a couple different dry brushes here. One with a bright yellow and one with a bright green. Again, trying to stick to the two halves of the creature. So the green on the bottom, yellow on the top. The eyes, I just kept super simple. Just painted them a bright white. Uh, and then used a Sharpie to draw in some very thin pupils. I also hit the little toenails with a bit of white um, that I did throw a wash on as well to tone down the color. So once I was satisfied with most of the paint, I started to glue in the puppy teeth that I had. Um, these were all the ones that we found throughout the house. Um, they're pretty big for the size of this creature, so kind of just spaced them out, 
uh, in a way that made sense. Uh, and then I used super glue and baking soda. Um, that helped fill in the gaps, as well as made sure that the bonds were super strong. Uh, and once those were glued in, I did a couple more touch-ups with some red wash around the mouth and the eyes. And this is the final result. Um, you can see I've also made a base for this, just really simple base. Um, just some stone texture and a little bit of flocking with some mushrooms that I had already pre-made. Uh, but as far as cheap and easy projects go, I think this really checks all the boxes. Really happy with how this turned out. It's a bit bigger than a sort of a monster manual statted OTUG, but uh, I think it is totally okay. Uh, I think it looks great and I'm really happy with it. Make sure you go check out Morgan's creations and his Monster Mayhem collab that he's hosting. I'll put a link for his Instagram and YouTube in the description box below. Make sure you go check that out, as well as all the other creators who have participated. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I have an Instagram account where you can check out in-progress pictures and other things that I've got going on, uh, as well as an Etsy shop where you can pick up dungeon tiles and other terrain accessories to use in your tabletop games. Both of those links can be found in the descriptions below. But more than anything, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.